Seven words. Seven words that could have ended it or started it all. What are these famous seven words, you ask? Julius, this is no time to recruit. If Julius listened to those seven words, the events of Saints Row would have never have happened. Luckily, he didn't. And here we are today. Today we will dive into the life, the past, the future, and the present of none other than Troy Bradshaw. Get the drugs back from the cops? How the fuck are we gonna do that? We're taking out the police station. Are you out of your fucking mind? They locked the place down before you'd get anywhere. It's Jules, I mean Julius's plan. He called it, we have to go with it. No, we don't. If you load a car up with some explosives, you could blow a hole right into the evidence locker and never have to fire a shot. That might lower the body count. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's do it. Troy along with Julius rescue the protagonist, who is caught up in a gang turf war between the Vice Kings, Los Carnales, and the West Side Rollers, while walking through Saints Row. Although Troy tries to urge Julius that they should get moving, Julius offers the protagonist a chance to join the Saints and meet at the Saints Row Church. Back at the church, when Julius reveals his plan to wipe out the gangs from Stillwater, he appoints Troy to look into the Vice Kings, but he refuses to Julius's annoyance. Troy, you dealing with the Vice Kings? Not a chance. Fuck you say? Anyone but them. You scared of going against Benjamin King? Until Johnny volunteers to look into them and under the watch of Dex. Troy still helps out during the takeover of Stillwater. During the wipeout of the Westside Rollers, Troy goes along with the protagonist in a race against them, taunting the Rollers racers to put on their nitrous and set off bombs that are rigged in their cars, saying things such as, You're out of your league, kid. Be sure to have a slip ready. And, Go back to the suburbs, you prep school motherfucker. Then, boom, goes the Westside Roller. Lynn doesn't fuck around, does she? During the takedown of the Carnales, Troy goes to look for their main drug plant for Dex, and later, along with the protagonist, goes to hijack a truck and bring it back to the row. During the takedown of the Vice Kings, Troy sends 3rd Street Saints members after Tanya Winters, unaware that the protagonist is driving her around, posing as a chauffeur in order to save Johnny Gat, although he ends up losing them and saves her thanks to Julia's warning him. All in all, you could say that Troy is a big part of the whole story, considering that he helped out with getting rid of just about every gang in the city. In the final mission of the game, Game, it is found out that Troy was a cop all along, and he had gone undercover and posed as a third street saint. Yo, can you speed this shit up? I want to go to Freckle Bitches. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting to my point. This leads me to none other than Saints Row 2. Prior to the protagonist being put into a coma, Troy goes to visit Julius in prison and convinces him to ask the protagonist and Johnny Gat to drop their flags. Dex is out of the game, and you're in jail. If you can convince Johnny and your number two to drop their flags, the Saints will fall apart and everyone goes home happy. You don't think this will work, do you? Julius instead rigs the yacht and blows it up, putting their protagonist into a coma and killing Richard Hughes. When Troy questions him angrily about the decision, Julius assures him that the Saints are now finished. I said talk, not set off a goddamn bomb! Relax, Troy. The Saints are finished. Don't try to find me. Well, there you have it for Troy Bradshaw in the story of the Saints. After SR2, Troy is merely an afterthought and is barely mentioned anymore. That's right, from Julius's right hand man to an afterthought. A sad, sad thing to think about with all the potential he had. But now it's time for your favorite part. It's time, time for some fun facts. Troy is the sarcastic joker of the Saints and always has snide remarks. When he later becomes chief of police, he does not lose his sense of humor either. Troy is also a chain smoker, and he has even lit up a cigarette over someone's dead body. What? Troy can be unlocked as a homie in Saints Row 2 after completing the Fight Club activity in the Stillwater Penitentiary. The protagonist and Troy both have a great deal of respect for one another, even though Troy was an undercover cop and later the chief of police. This is due to the fact that Troy never wanted to arrest you in SR1, and in SR2 he was the one keeping you on life support for many years. He wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been- So there you have it. From Saints Lieutenant to Chief of Police. Troy Bradshaw was a big part of the Saints Row 1 and Saints Row 2 story. And the protagonist and Troy still remain friends to this day. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. The history of Troy Bradshaw. Comment below who you'd like to see next. And believe me, I'm open for absolutely anyone. But in the meantime, you can check this guy out. We just hit 400 members and counting. So, uh, did you check it out? So, why are you still here? <laughs>